Who's you? Kinemagene Ireland Indigenous Cus coming with this out of the world presentation of our week 24 learning plan and announcements. As is normal, we'll begin on the stream page. There's always the link for students to quickly send me an email and also my Google Voice number. If your student is participating in our after school program, this is a good number to reach me in the classroom, especially after 4.30. You have the most recent overview and we continue to have the February breakfast menu published for you. There would have been a newsletter this week, um, but we didn't have school today or yesterday. So there will be a new one coming sometime this upcoming week. Here's another thing I wanna show you from the classwork tab, which may look slightly different once I'm done making adjustments, but there is a fifth grade Padlet. It's titled Learn From Home. As we work on fractions, there are fraction strips here that can be very helpful. Times tables where they can practice with their multiplication facts. These are all free resources and students are allowed to use at any time and encouraged to use at any time. We will even sometimes use them in class. There are some games here like Prodigy and Khan Academy is a really good resource for working on individual skills. If they know there's something they're struggling with. And there's also a link to their ST math. ST math is something that we've been doing much more frequently, encouraging students to see if they could master the fifth grade journey before the end of May, as we're really trying to get them set up for a successful transition into middle school. Another page to show you is our sagchipschool.net. We do now have an update on it. So if you click on menu, the teacher pages are available. So you click on teacher pages, search for your teacher. And in this case, you're gonna to go to Michael Ireland, but if you have a student in another class, you can see those pages as well. Over on the right is Mr. Ireland's fifth grade. That's the part that's really going to matter. The bio, not really that much. And you can see announcements. And I've already published this week's learning plan. So if you're wondering, what was my student supposed to do today? And they don't have their Google Chrome access, Chromebooks, you can just come right here. Um, you click on it, it'll open up a document. And that's the document we'll be talking about here in just a moment. But it's a good resource. And in addition to that, there are school announcements and other material that will be useful to you. Since we already have this open here, let's go ahead and go through it. We're going to be looking at the beginning of technical texts this week, such as how to start a community garden and focus on the difference between that and your traditional narratives and historical nonfictions that we've been doing before. This type of nonfiction is telling you how to do something. We'll also be looking at our scholastic and comparing two different versions on the 17th and 18th of stories that are in articles related to Jackie Robinson, the famous baseball player. In writing, we pushed back, so we'll have a catch up day on Monday. Free write if your students caught up. And we'll continue moving through unit 3B. Math and everything again pushed back a day, including to check my progresses. Science, we start a new unit. Social studies, we removed the spiral review and put it into our web block so that we could cover our first Continental Congress and continue moving through the, the process of moving, fighting a revolution. Our math review and enrichment, we're gonna have a quiz on Monday on numerical expressions and patterns. Then check my progress on Tuesday and Friday. You'll notice Wednesday I have no session for that. Tech, unfortunately due to time constraints, we didn't get to 21 things for students last week, so we moved it back to here. And you can see our web block gets pretty busy. This is the period of the day where we use the Chromebooks and citizenship, although sometimes discussed during social studies. And there's a link to the citizenship questions all right here. Uh, words their way, our spelling procedures, ST math. We generally do schedule in specifically time for reading. Then 
math groups and reading groups where we help your students develop and perfect skills that'll help them be successful in math. And we move the legends of learning to Monday, so students will be happy about that. You'll notice too here that I'm with all of these half day parts on Wednesday, that it is in fact a half day that's on the 16th. School will dismiss at noon, lunch will be served. And if your student normally rides the bus to the gym after school, they will need to be picked up at SCA at noon as a professional development day. You notice that I always encourage students to read for 20 minutes, even if we're not here, even if it's a Saturday or Sunday. Does it need to be an academic text? Absolutely not. Something that's going to allow them to consume more reading, but also enjoy it. You'll see also we have Quill listed down here as well. So that's gonna be something that students are getting their grammar instruction as well. On Monday, we will be taking some time out to exchange the any valentines that students want to exchange um, we're not going to do a big party for it as we do have gym that day and i don't want us to go an entire week without missing gym so the last 30 minutes of the day we will exchange valentines students are not required to bring in any valentines but if you choose to there are 18 students in the class so please bring one for everybody if you're gonna bring any at all. The question was asked of me, do I, what if you just wanna give it to your best friend? And the answer to that is find it a private time to do that. Uh, the the uh, field trip to the middle school, it's part of Frye has been rescheduled. That'll be on the 25th. So in the next week, we'll have more information that in our next newsletter. So if you have any questions, reach out to me at mirland at sagchipschool.net. Hope everyone's enjoying the extra day off that, for this three-day weekend, and I look forward to seeing you all on Monday. Have a minute, Gijigad. Minwa. Bama pee.